Hello everyone, my Mini Gamer here, and we are back with more Kingdom Hearts. Last time we got to the Waterfall Cavern, where um, we're not really sure what's in it. It's just something cool that we found. We got thrown up here, but one thing I know, there's a treasure chest up here. Oop. And inside we have the Mithril Shard. All right. And up here, there's a shell G for a treasure. Now, I forget how many treasures there are in this area. I think there's just a few. So don't worry about that. I think there also might be a trinity spot in this. Now that I think about it, oh fuck. I don't know if there's one that we can trigger yet or not, but I know there's one in here somewhere. My money sucks at Kingdom Hearts platforming. Yes, he does. Everybody knows this, and they make fun of him behind his back while they're watching him fuck around. <laughs> anyway, I am busy trying to do this. Um, I gotta tell you something funny. So, I'm about to go to bed, you know, and I'm watching some Netflix. And all of a sudden, I see uh, my cat kind of like running around my um, hallway. And I'm like, what is she doing? Turns out she was chasing a moth. And it was super adorable. And I was just like, oh man, uh, I wish I had my uh, camera. And then I ended up grabbing my phone. And I was like, well, I have this at least. And so I actually recorded her um, beating up this moth. It was like the coolest thing in the world. And I'm thinking about putting it on um, on YouTube sometime for your guys' entertainment because I'm sure you'll love seeing her. There's actually something back here. In there. Oops. Me falling off like a jackass. There's that. <laughs> anyway, I'm surprised she hasn't come up here and tried to steal my water that I made for myself. My brother's cat would do that, but I don't know about her. She sometimes surprises me with things like that, so I don't know. saying it was just super adorable anyway here's this place we have never been here before we don't know what it is so Ooh. this is your home but that means huh Friends there. I see friends. Oh, now I've got it. Eh, ooh, 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 ah, means heart. Friends in our hearts. Heart. Oh, so that's what it meant. Friends. <laughs> same heart. Clayton. Lose heart. No heart. No see friends. No heart, no friends. Sorry about what I said. I'm trying to <laughs> Yeah, all for one, huh? Sure. Oh, look, a keyhole. But it's sure not the king's. 
I think someone has a new admirer. And obtain a Navi G piece. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped instead. Hmm. A weak-hearted fool like him stood no chance against the heartless. Yeah, I think you would be able to, Jafar. <laughs> but the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Fear not, it will take him ages to find the way. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other town. Yes, the princesses. They are falling into our hands one by one. Speaking of which. Alice is a princess? Um... Since when? <laughs> well, I guess we better get going. Where's your ship, anyway? Well, uh, not too far. Sora, Tarzan, friends. And you obtained the Jungle King. Upgrade the Keyblade with keychains. Different keychains will have different effects to the Keyblade. Access the equipment menu to use a keychain. Yes, um, I also learned how to use red trinities. Now then, I will show you how to get that one trinity, but real quick, I want to explain to you uh, when we get back there, of course. The gummy block that came out of the glowing hole. It's like the others. I wonder what it's used for. I don't know. Maybe later on, I don't know. Hmm, he might. Back to Traverse Town then? I'm gonna be pilot. Hey, stop it! Oh, come on, I'm the Keyblade Master. I don't care who you are, no! Here we go again. Uh. But of course, let's go back to, um,. The deep jungle. Now, um, I think the best place we'd go is the camp tent. And you should have your regular team, so don't worry about that. Oh, and, um, even though we didn't. If you equipped anything on uh, Tarzan, your equipment will come back when you leave, so don't worry about that. Like, see, if you put an accessory on him, which you can do, you'll get it back the second you leave, so don't worry about that. Uh, other than that, um, let me just show you our new sword. The Jungle King has a long reach, but seldom deals critical blows. So your attack um, goes up to um, 22, your strength does, with the power of 5 and the Jungle King's you know, weapon. But as it says, it seldom does critical blows, so you have to deal more in addition to your raw power alone. And since it's just a new sword, you might as well use it. I mean, look at it, it looks kind of cool. It has a green arc instead of the uh, yellow one it had before. And it does pretty decent work against these guys anyway, so I don't see why it's such a big deal. Oh, and 
case you're wondering, there are weapons later on that you can get, like other Keyblades, that do things like, um, lower your, uh, magic ability or, um, make your magic more powerful and stuff like that. Um, you get them later, of course, but they tend to also keep up, like, you know, counter that with something else, like, for example, you can get it, get one that puts your strength up, and I think also lowers your, uh, magic, and then you can get one that, um, that's the other thing I'm thinking of, um, makes your strength weaker, but, uh, makes your magic more powerful and stuff like that. I think I already said that, but I'm just confirming it and just let you know. And also, another thing I love about the jungle key is it makes enemies explode with, uh, like, green leaves, which is kind of interesting looking. But of course it has no elemental affinity, so you don't have to worry about that or anything like that. Anyway, to get to the area we need to get to, we can either take that way, or we can take the, um, hippo path. I went off screen getting there, but it's just easier to go ahead and show you it here. treasure chest up here that we need, so we don't have to worry about looking for anything else like that. I don't think there's any more Dalmatians or anything except for the one we're gonna get from using this Trinity spot. And there's no red Trinity spots here either. I think the only one I know of is in, um, uh, the main uh, town where Leon is. And you can't use Trinities while in the middle of fights, either. Hmm, I thought that was an enemy. Huh. There we go. Oh, a little protector chain, that's pretty nice. I didn't know they dropped that. You know, it explains this later on, I think I already spoiled it. But when you lock a level, it's supposed to lower the amount of Heartless, but there always seems to be the same amount of Heartless no matter what. It's just kind of funny. But you can always get a few more levels if you so desire by that. I'll try to pair it. But there's still no enemies are going to take him out first. There we go. Oh. Like I said, so you can't use it because you're gonna fight. Wow, two of them. Damn. Here you fall on the fall down the thing and then end up accidentally uh, hanging off an edge because you can't attack while hanging off the edge. Which is really annoying. I don't even do much of anything when you're hanging on the edge, to be honest. See ya! Thunder! Nice. That's just gonna be weak against that. Yeah. 
Stubbing his toe is actually from attacking him. It's not, you know, when he's like doing that slide attack, it's actually not from the flower like a thumb, which is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, and also, in case you're wondering, no, they do not have unlimited enemies appear in areas. They may seem that way right now, but no, they don't. I can personally vouch for this, it's just usually there's a shit ton whenever you're trying to get near a uh, objective, you know, like this trinity mark. You can actually just stand next to it and wait for all the enemies to die or come up to you so that you can get it. Fire! Fire! Almost had it. <laughs> Keep appearing here. It's so ridiculous. I know someone's gonna accuse me of uh, uh, power leveling, but no, I'm not power leveling. I'm just trying to destroy all these enemies so I can get this area completed. I think this game is pretty generous with this exp experience all the way through. Because you will always be able to, um, You'll always be able to get the same amount of experience points from an enemy every time you kill it. Like, I don't think the game does like in um, Paper Mario and stuff like that, you know, where once you've cleaned an area out so much, like you get the max levels you can get from that area. And it's like, oh, you are now only going to get like one piece of experience each time. No, it doesn't do that in this game. To my knowledge. God damn it, this is getting annoying as shit. I'm waiting for them to kill it. Oh, I was standing on it, but when they killed the enemy, I wasn't actually facing it, so when I was about to do it, the enemy appeared again. And I was gonna jump up here eventually and try to attack me. Shit. This is embarrassing, just made you guys wait for me to do this. Got it. Still, you can't open the chest until he's dead too, so... Tornado is actually one of my favorite attacks. Uh, he does this like spinning move where he runs towards the enemy while spinning. And it causes the enemy to um, be like drawn into him if I'm not mistaken. And do multiple hits of damage. It's kind of cool. Alright, wait for them to kill that one. Unless he comes up here, of course. Thunder! <laughs> that was my last bit of magic, though, which kind of sucks. Come on, guys. Hurry up and kill him. Oh, 
music sounds really good though in battle. It sounds almost like Star Fox in the <laughs> I've just been standing in one place waiting to do this. That's probably really boring. And they just keep appearing. Fuck, come on. Yeah. Maybe this is a glitch because I could have sworn like enemies do not just automatically always spawn. It might be because I'm getting close to the door and it's triggering that as a. Uh, I mean, coming back in here, you never really know. I mean, post your uh, suggestions in the uh, comments. Like, give me your best guess. I want to know. There you go. Now we can get out of here. Yeah, we need to head back to Traverse Town. Sound that we can't do from here. We have no means to fight anymore, so don't have to worry about that. Jump into the tree hollow to slide down the slider. Pick up all the fruit on your way down to unlock up to four different paths. I know you get a prize for your trouble, but other than that, I'm not sure why you would do that. This way, does this lead where I think it does? No. Still, it's a cool looking place. Anyway, we can leave now, so let's go ahead and do that. Wrong button. Yes. <coughs> now, the thing that sucks is, as always, you can't fly straight to Diverse Town. You have to fly somewhere else first. So we have to fly here first. Let's do that. Which, hey, look at that. That's actually one of the pictures it showed. Great, more parts that we really don't need. I guess we can sell them at some point. I wish I had another uh, gun. There actually is a very awesome weapon G later on. It's uh, like a laser. And what it does is you have to uh, charge it and then release it, kind of like you do in Star Fox. And it'll target any nearby enemies and kill them in one shot, usually. I think that is this game. It might be the uh, sequel. I don't really know. I don't remember. Uh, if I didn't, if I haven't mentioned it yet, though, the one thing that I found very funny about this game is that in most cases, when I put a second shooter on, depending on how you make the bottom of your ship, you can only put it like at certain weird er like areas, and so it ends up like, aiming a little bit off from the enemies. So it's kind of hard to hit things with it, but still, it's cool to add, you know.
that sound you can't do a barrel roll or anything. <laughs> Speaking of Star Fox, I've actually gotten more or less a request to try it again and try to get the medals. I'll do my best, but I don't think uh, it's not going to be anytime soon. It's probably going to be a little bit till I do it. But anyway, now that we've come here, we need to select our next world. Just traverse town. And oh, I meant to set a little extra. Go for a little length here to get you guys there. Ships, because then you see them coming towards you, it's like, hey, look, it's my ship. <laughs> I'm still find it hard to believe that those are heartless, though. It's kind of funny that a heartless could be able to fly a ship. Oh, they've had stranger things in the game, so I don't know. They've had zombies drive cars. seeing the ships heading towards it, you know. Like you know that you're gonna run into enemies when you get there. Anyway, the one we're looking the red thing is actually in here, if you're wondering. Well, actually it's not in here, in here, but you can actually cast a fire on this and light it, which is kinda cool. Actually, there is a Trinity mark in here that we'll have to use later. Right now, though, we can't do anything with it. Anyway, let's see if he has any new accessories that we might want. Mm, no. Doesn't look like it. We don't need any of these yet, I don't think. So, let's see. I know I have, um... Some extra protect chains, don't I? We can sell one of them. So that'd be a good idea, because we only need one for the peeps. Anyway, so we've been told that we have to go find Leon, but we'll do that in the next episode. And, um,. When we do, we'll get a little cutscene. That's why I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And hopefully we'll, he'll be able to explain to us what's going on. Till then, bye.